I'm Ethan Lemkul. I'm the vice president for Ohio State Dodgeball Club. Um, today we have Colby Chorak here with us, October Baller of the Month. Catherine and Ryan Ginsberg were unable to be here for the interview, so I'm filling in. Cholby, how we doing, buddy? Dude, fantastic. It's great to be here. It's good to see you. How are you? I'm doing great as well. It's a great day. Okay, to get the ball rolling here, um, why UNO? What do you study there, and what do you enjoy most about being there? Um, why UNO? Um, I think for me, I mean, I grew up in Omaha, which is about an hour away. Um, and it was a good, it was a good distance um, to just get to be on my own, but also being close enough to home to go whenever I need to. Um, so that kind of played into my decision here. Started off as an athletic training major. Um, so I was working with some of the sports teams, doing rehabs and things like that, injury prevention and stuff like that. Since then, I've changed my major to exercise science, um, and I'm on the pre-PT physical therapy track. So that is the that's the goal for after undergrad. Impressive stuff. <clears throat> um, so what made you join the dodgeball team? Why did you stick with it? And do you have any roles on the team? What got me? Okay, so honestly, uh, if it wasn't for Alex Johnson, one of our captains, um, him and I have been buddies since the beginning of freshman year. And I think he heard about it um, from like our club fair. We call it like free stuff Sunday. Um, and he just kind of, he played baseball. He knew I had played baseball all the way through high school. Um, and so that's kind of what, you know, caused me to gravitate towards playing. And I went to a practice and enjoyed it. So we just kind of, we just kind of stuck around, um, ended up playing through freshman year and then sophomore year during COVID, um, him and I both kind of fell off because things were weird with, the, the new practice location and masks being a, you know, during that time, it was kind of tough. Um, so the only reason I came back last year, I, I, I fully, you know, not, I, I shouldn't say fully, but in my, in my mind, I was kind of like shifting away from dodgeball. I kind of thought it was like a, oh, that was fun freshman year. Um, but he, I learned from him that he was still going and so I was like, okay, well, if he's going, like, I'll go back. And then, you know, we had the season that we did last year, which was super good and a lot of fun. So we're looking forward to having another good season. Um, but, yeah, definitely the background in baseball and just kind of that, which is similar for a lot of players I know. Interesting. Um, so, yeah. and then as far as roles on the team go, um, I, I'm not, like, designated as a captain or anything like that. I just kind of show up to practice and ball out. Um but I do, I do get to use uh, my position, I guess, as uh, I'm a leader without the title, I like to think. So I, 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 I provide that. input as far as practice goes and things like that. So, All right. Um, I think you obviously hit on this, but we're going to ask you about your role models. Um, is there anyone in the league that you look up to currently? Oh, models in the league. Um, oh, man. Skiba's catching ability, for sure. Um, he's pretty dominant. Sweet double catches, all that stuff. Um, I mean, on the topic of UC players, our boy, Ryan Engelman. What a beauty. Um, who else? Um, I like having, like, competition with top arms like um Barry um he's a stud Alec um who else I did look up to Sam <laughs> was, was <Yeah>. <laughs> um so it was it was cool to get to play against you guys last year and then yeah, was fun, USA getting to play with each other was also a blast too so yeah all right um obviously you won the award for your performance this month, and you guys dominated UWP. Any comments about them or the match? Uh, we, I, I think what led us to that first, was it 7-1 that first yes. game? Yes, yeah, 7-1. That 7-1 victory was that whole week leading up to it. <clears throat> um, I feel like everybody had the same mentality that 
and it, and it was so different than from previous from previous years um, playing them and even like previous matches where it was just like we're ready to come out this season. Especially, I think it had to do with our nationals performance last year um, and kind of trying to carry that over. We just wanted to come out as hot as possible, and we definitely did. Um, and that's definitely where we perform best is our first first matches of the day. Um, I think I think everybody being on that like having that same mentality that's just like let's go let's show let's show them what we got um, kind of is what what caused that and I think that was pretty evident so it was it was a lot of fun just in general. Chip we, on your shoulder. Yeah, yeah, we love playing them. Um, they're super, you know, on 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 the court, you know, is is very different than off the court. Like they're super super great guys off the court. Not yeah. that they aren't on the court. It's just, you know, you know how it gets in a game when it gets fired up and competitive. So, um, Hot seat here. Obviously, you can't play everybody in the country throughout the whole season. Yeah. But if you had a match tomorrow and you had to play three teams, who would you pick? Oh, man. <clears throat> I think we're going Ohio, Ohio State, and – I'd like to see how we how we would play against um, MSU or Cincy. Um, you know, that's uh, those are all going to be tough matches, regardless. So, realist is that is that a realistic schedule to have and play each match well? No, because simply because like that's those are all going to be games. Like everyone's going to have to play their best. Arms right. are going to be tired. Like that's a, that's a tough day. But yeah, I think I. I would love to see those matchups um, at any point. So, um, your jersey number twenty two. Uh, anything behind that, or just kind of random? No, I just I that was the number that I got freshman year, and I just figured, you know, why why change now? I just kind of have stuck with it. Um, if I could in baseball, I was always either like one or five. So if I were to pivot numbers, it would be to one of those. So. All right. Um, you have a go-to meal before or after tournaments? <clears throat> before or after tournaments? Um, since we usually play in the morning, I usually try to – I mean, the only – the place that we played the most is UWP. So I'm trying to think of, like, what I – definitely I'm taking a Gatorade to the game for sure. Got to have that. Um, and then I'm going, like, peanut butter bagel – or like pop tart or something. All right, something light. Something light. Yeah. Get, those carbs, get those carbs going. <clears throat> um. Obviously, you have great physique. Cut. Um. What part of your game does getting in the gym help you with the most? Do you think? Um. I mean, I've even had teammates comment on the fact that, like, <clears throat> freshman year, I showed up with the that that background in baseball like I had a developed arm and it was it, I, I was able to throw hard and then learning to pinch on top of that you know that adds to it but I think even still I've just developed into throwing harder and harder like as you know right as I've grown um, <laughs> a lot of that has to do with not only like the upper body but a lot of the lower body since this is a rotational it's a rotational sport you know so <laughs> uh, this was requested by the content team any exercises you recommend to fellow dodgeballers gotta strengthen the shoulders but you gotta hit legs for sure I might not have the size to show for it but they're 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 strong so <clears throat> exercise uh, specifics do your squats for sure um if you had to describe your play style as an animal, what animal would you be? Oh, man. <laughs> I like that question, actually. Um, something aggressive. <laughs> I'm going like ape. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Good answer. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you'd like the league to know about you? or any advice you have for some of these newer teams coming onto the scene? Advice. Um, I mean, we're looking forward to playing, is it CUW? CUW? Concordia, yeah. Wisconsin, yeah. We're looking forward to playing them. Um, you know, 
Illinois, they were, had just recently backed out of that um, the Pioneer Classic or um, whatever they call it. But we were looking forward to playing them as well, just because it is exciting to see new teams come. Um, but it's going to be a good learning experience for them just to see how they perform, you know, as a, as a team with their starting 12. And it's going to, it's going to allow them to um, just kind of figure out how they want to play um, and what works for them. And it's, it's, it's a time thing. It takes a lot of time for that to happen. Um, we've definitely become more comfortable as a team with um, our play style that we've kind of settled into. Um, but yeah, I would say give it, give it time, um, watch other teams and just try to be a sponge, soak up as much information as you can. So yes, if I may, I would say get to as many tournaments as you can. There's nothing like experience playing other teams. Yeah, definitely. Which we wish we could do more, obviously, but yes, it can be <laughs> tough, but you just do what you can do. Yeah. Um, I think that's all the questions I have on here. Okay. Ryan wrote, blah, blah, blah. Please take your shirt and pants <laughs> off. <laughs> <If I. laughs> uh, thanks for joining us, Joel. It's been great to get in to know more about you and your experience playing dodgeball. And we can't wait to see you again soon. Yeah. Hopefully thanks. sometime, maybe war. Yes, I, I hope so. I don't know. We It sounds like we're figuring things out, but we would love to. So, <clears throat> All right, perfect. Sweet.